Okay, so we are doing mixed mole problems. You definitely need a periodic table, a calculator, and also your mole map to help figure out what to do and how to go from one thing to another. Okay, so how many grams are there in 1.5 times 10 to the 25th molecules of CO2? So if you're looking at your mole map, we are given molecules and we need grams. There's no direct route, so we need to go molecules to moles and then to grams. Okay, so how to go from molecules to moles? We're going to divide by Avogadro's number, so 1.5 times 10 to the 25th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And let's get that calculator. 1.5 divided by 6.02 is 0.249 times 10 to the second. But that's not proper sign notation, so we're going to do uh, 2.49, which is actually, I'm not going to round to sig figs yet. <coughs> it should be 2 at the end. So that got larger by a factor of 10, so this should get smaller by a factor of 10. Or you could say, all right, let's go even further. Let's say 24.9 times 10 to the 0, which is um, 1. 10, 10 to the 0 is 1, so we get 24.9. So let's do that. And that would be moles. Then we need to multiply by GFM, and it's CO2. So this is 12, and this is 16 times 2. 16 times 2 is 32, plus 12 is 44. So 44 times 24.9. Okay, so it gives me 1095.6. So let's round that to two sig figs. So that would be 1. 1, 0, 0. If you were to use scientific notation, that would be 1.1 times 10 to the third. Um, if it didn't ask you for sign notation, or excuse me, if it didn't ask you for sig figs, that 1095.6 would be fine. Don't forget your units, though, are grams. What volume would the CO2 in problem 1 occupy at STP? Remember, STP is just normal conditions, and you have to be at STP in order for... Um, your 22.4 liters to be accurate. So I don't need to start from scratch. I can just start from my moles, which are 24.9 moles. And I need to go to volume. So I'm going to multiply by 22.4. So 24.9 times 22.4 gives me 557.76 uh, liters. If you don't need sig figs, that's fine. If you do need sig figs, we're going to still take them from that up there. So that would be 560 liters. OK. A sample of NH3 or ammonia gas occupies 75 liters at STP. How many molecules is this? OK, so we're going to start at volume. We're going to go to moles, and then from moles to molecules. So 75 liters divided by 22.4. 75 divided by 22.4 equals, and this has a whole bunch of decimal places, blah, blah, blah. Just leave it in your calculator. I'm going to stop writing it, but just don't touch it in your calculator. So that's going to be moles. Now I need to go to molecules. We're going to multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's Avogadro's number. So I'm just going to multiply it by 6.02, and I get 20.15 whatever times 10 to the 23rd, which is not proper sign notation. So we're going to move this to the left. So we divide by 10. So 1.2, oh, excuse me, 2.0156. So that got smaller. So this needs to get bigger. And of course, our um, sig figs are not right. So we need three sig figs. So I will change that to that. Okay, and the units are molecules, which you should write the whole word, even though I did not. What is the mass of the sample of NH3 in problem three? Okay, so since I know moles, and that's my central part, I'm not going to restart it, um, but I guess I will just in case I got sig figs. Sig figs are favorite. Now, to go from moles to mass, I need to multiply by GFM, and it's NH3. So this is 14, and this is 3 times 1, so 3. So total mass, uh, is GFM is 17, so sev that's, uh, yikes, 17 grams per mole. A little bit messy today. Grams per mole. 
17. Okay, and we want to keep those three sig figs, so 56.9, and that would be grams. Okay, how many atoms are there in 1.3 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of NO2? So, uh, molecules, so 1.3 times 10 to the 22nd molecules. Now in, no, this is a little different, in one molecule, we have one, two, three atoms. So that's actually not using our mole map. So 1.3 times three is 3.9, and then we're gonna keep our times 10 to the 22nd, and this is atoms, okay? So did you see what I did? I know that in one molecule of NO2, I just counted my atoms. And then I use that as my conversion factor. So that actually wasn't um, using a mole map. A five gram sample of O2 is in a container at SDP. What is the volume? So we're gonna go from mass to moles, moles to volume. Divide by GFM, 16 times two is 32. So five divided by, whoops, and I write a six. Five divided by 32, and I get, one, five, six, two, five. It's a lot of decimal places, and this is moles. And then we're gonna multiply it by 22.4, the molar quantity. And we're going to get 3.5 liters. Perfect, my sig figs are already correct. How many molecules of O2 are in the, prob the container in problem six? How many atoms? Okay, so first we need to go to molecules. So let's stick with our moles. One, because we'd have to go there anyways. How do you go from moles to molecules? You multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. So 1.15625 times 6.02 gives me 0 0.940625 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so let's move that. So we get, uh, and we need, let's see, two sig figs anyway. So. That's gonna be 9.4. That got bigger, so this has to get smaller. 9.4 times 10 to the 22 uh, molecules. Okay, and then it says how many atoms. So in one molecule of O2, there are two atoms. So we're just gonna do 9.4 divided by two, and so that's gonna be 4.7 times 10 to the 22nd atoms. Um, did I do that right? That's not what the book says. Let's see, a one log atom of all. I think that's right. Okay, well, my book says that this should be 1.9 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So I might have made a mistake. If I did, go ahead and check me. But generally, if you got that first part right, you're good. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.